Hey you guys, this is Agent Mindstorm, and welcome back to Dungeoncraft Mod Pack. Last episode, we took out the final boss in the world, and in between episodes, I went and explored the entire world. So now our whole map is completed, and I think that's person. I personally think that's really, really cool because we can see the whole world, and you can see there's some weird stuff here, like the orange place, or there's the sand place in that direction. Yeah, there really is some weird stuff, but speaking of weird stuff, I have encountered a weird glitch recently. I'm clearly the only person in this world, right? There is no one in this bed. That is a downright lie. This bed is not occupied whatsoever. There is no one in this bed, yet I cannot sleep in it. And then I break the bed, and I'll place it back down, and now I can sleep in it. What? What? Why was the bed occupied before? There was still no one in there. Also, guys, I updated this beacon, so it gives us four different effects now, so that is pretty cool. We have resistance, jump boost, haste, and speed. And so this episode, what I want to do is actually something that I've been talking about for a little while, and I want to get an armor stand with arms back to our base. Because armor stands, they don't have arms. But you can get them with arms, and there are a few in this world that do happen to have arms. And one of them is pretty close by, so we're going to go get him. But first we need some blocks to build with, because we're going to put him in a minecart and get him all the way back here using minecart rails. So there should be some iron in here. Yes, iron. And also, guys, I did go mining for iron in between episodes. And I happened to find a mob spawner, which I could show you, but I'm not going to right now. And let's just distribute to make these rails. There we go. And I forgot wood. So it looks like we can't make the rails. We need wood. And if you're wondering how 16 rails are going to get all the way back, we're just going to break the rails behind the minecart with the armor stand. And then we're going to place it in front of it. And we're just going to keep reusing the same rails over and over again. And there we go. 16 rails. And now we should head over to where the armor stand is because he's right over that mountain. Like, right on the other side, it seems pretty far, but it's really not too far. Like, we're gonna need to build a bridge, or... Like, we're gonna have to do some building and some placing, and... It's gonna be a little annoying to get him over, but... When we do get him over, it's gonna be cool, because he's in this cool pose, too. Like, I'll show you guys what I mean by in a cool pose. Because he's in this mode, like, he's about to attack, or like, he's running or something. I don't really know, but... Tell me in the comments what you think he looks like he's doing. And... So he's right around here, and he's right around this little hill, right there. There he is. So this is the guy we're going to take all the way back to our base. And is he running? Is he, like, attacking? Like, doesn't it look like he's kind of running to attack? I, I really don't know, but give, give me my sword back. Thank you. And if we break it by accident, I'm going to be so annoyed, because this is our only chance to actually get an armor stand with arms back to our base. So basically, what I have to do is ram this minecart into him, uh, he... There we go, he's in the minecart, and oh, we can rotate him with this? Usually you can't rotate an armor stand, that's interesting. So, let's get him up this hill. So we need a rail here, there we go. Wow, look at how creepy that is when he turns. Wait, just a second. This is honestly very creepy. Look at that. Wow, I've never seen an armor stand, like, turn. That's just very... That is weird, okay? That is... Sincerely weird. Okay, there's the beacon. That's how we know where our base is. And let's start building- what- what is this supposed to be? There are some things in this world that I just question what the map maker was thinking. So let's push him now. Oh gosh, the creepy spinning armor stand is really creepy. I- I just said that. But here he is, he's crashed, and now that he's out of rail- Okay, I for I thought we forgot the pickaxe for a second. That would have been so annoying if we'd forgotten the pickaxe. Because this is the unbreakable Fortune 3 Efficiency 5 pickaxe. It is super useful. So rails, let's... We gotta just keep laying them down and then... So it seems pretty far, but compared to where some of the armor stands in this world are, like, there's one literally on the opposite side of the world. And there's no way I'm gonna try to take that thing back. I wish we had powered rails, though, because... Or maybe even enough rails to do this. But even mining for about 10 minutes, I only managed to get, like, 6 iron. Because I was too lazy to get torches or anything. So, I really just 
like, went there in darkness and saw nothing at all. I saw a few iron, though, and that's the only reason we even had enough iron to make a minecart and 16 rails. So, let's see, how much further do we have to go? So here, and then, I think we're gonna build kind of like a bridge, and then build the rails on it, all the way back to our base. It's gonna be a little difficult once we actually have to get him in the base. I don't really know how that's gonna work, but we'll figure that out when we get there. Also, once again, spinning armor stand that looks suspiciously like a player is creepy. Suspicious armor stand is very creepy. What if we bring him back to our base and he, like, comes alive and just steals all our stuff and runs away? He's like, <laughs> he thought I was an armor stand. I don't know what that voice was. So I think we're going to make it start going uphill here. And then we're going to keep it going uphill all the way back to our base. So up here, and then now we, now we actually need to stay in the path of the armor stand, which is not going to be very easy. Uh, let's see how much... Okay, so it has to go pretty high so that we can get it over our base. Because we we have to kind of drop it through the ceiling to get it in the right place in our base. So, I think here should be high enough. And then, let's place the rest of these rails down. Hopefully we'll have enough. Okay, two left, which is just enough. I don't know how we're going to push him up this, now that I think of it. That's going to be a little difficult to push him all the way up this tower thing. But once we get him up here, it'll be fine. So, um, Steve, suspicious looking Steve, who is actually an armor stand, I think, uh, get up this hill, please, and just cooperate. Cooperate, please. Okay, so far, so good. He is not falling down the hill. Oh, 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 he's bouncing, he's bouncing. Oh, and he's down. We should, like, build barriers behind it so he can't go back down. Oh, my goodness, that spinning armor stand is so creepy. Why is that even in the game? Why do armor stands spin in minecarts? What, what is it with that? What makes an armor stand spin when in a minecart? Like, what? Why? Okay, so let's get him up the hill and th let's just keep blocking it off as we go up. Because as soon as it's blocked off, then he can't go back and we won't have to- <gasps> Oh. My goodness. He is floating. He is practically floating now. That is not good. Seriously, let's go to the ground and see how close he is to falling off. Let's see. Okay, well. He's very close to falling off. I think we're just gonna build up and build under him. Oh, building up with slabs is so annoying. Okay, so here he is. Let's just build under him and hope he does- What? Really, slab glitch? You had to choose then to work. Like, that slab glitch is the most annoying thing, probably. Because- Right when you're trying to build a bridge out of slabs, boom, suddenly it doesn't work right. And either you fall down, or what you're trying to bring across, such as Steve, falls down, or something other, something else happens. Okay, so this is going to be a little tricky to do. I think we're going to go build the whole bridge first. We also need to get another way up here, just, just so um, we, we don't keep having to like parkour around Steve. I call him Steve, he's just an armor stand. So, okay, not much longer till we get to get him to the base. So, it's gonna be so cool when we can mount a sword there, though. So, that's kind of what's motivating me. We're, we gotta get this awesome sword armor stand all the way back to our base. Because won't that just be so cool? But if he falls down here, there's no hope, pretty much. Like, if, he's, if he falls down, it's gonna be super hard to get him back into the base because he has to go up, which we already did. But he's gonna have to go up even more, because look at how far that ground just dropped right here. It dropped, like, at least seven blocks, which in real life is meters, so... Steve is two meters tall and one meter wide. That's kind of weird. Okay, so, wow. Look at how far we've already built this thing. So this thing's gonna be really ugly, this bridge. So I think when we're done with this, we're gonna have to go back and destroy it. And then possibly pick up the slabs if we feel like it. Because, I don't know, maybe I won't feel like it. And so here we are, almost back to the base. We're so, so close. So close. I don't know how I managed to carry this whole bridge on me, and I'm just manage magically pulling it out of my pocket, but maybe it's one of those magic tricks that, like, I have no idea how this works, guys. I have no idea how this works at all. Wow, it got pretty dark pretty fast. Look at how dark it is all of a sudden. I don't know how that happened, but... Oh my goodness. 
See that slab glitch? That is the most annoying glitch. Oh, and now there's mobs out. What if a mob, like, what if a creeper... Oh, wait, no, they can't... No, never mind. They can't spawn on bottom slabs. These are top slabs, so mobs... Mobs can spawn up here. Okay, look at... We've almost bridged... Okay, we've successfully made this bridge all the way back to the base. And now let's head back to this armor stand and hope nothing spawns on the bridge. Because if something spawns on the bridge and we're trying to get this guy back still... Well, either goodbye bridge or goodbye minecart Steve, but it's definitely goodbye something. So, let's get around him, and then we have to push him from behind. Oh, oh, wow, that was interesting, to say the least. And now we have to be super careful while picking up these rails, because these slabs are instant break with this pickaxe. So, um, we just have to be super careful not to also break the bridge and send us to our doom. And here we are, let's put him back on rails, there we go. Man, I seriously hate the turning armor stand, that is so, so creepy. You know, I feel like you can make a cool, like, creepy house in Minecraft by just using spinning armor stands. Like, he literally spins to look at me when I push him. There's something super creepy about that. Oh, I almost pushed him off the edge, okay. Grab that, oh, well, goodbye that rail. Um, we've, we've managed to lose our first rail. Let's just pick them all up again. And put them all back on, put Steve back on rails. There we go. Oh gosh, I hate, I don't know why he spins. What is the spinning logic there? Like why? Why does Steve spin uh, from me just placing a rail under him? How does that even happen? But on the, pl on the positive side, no mobs have spawned yet. And we don't have to worry about them because they're all on the ground. And we're reasonably high off the ground. But let's just get that guy just in case. You know? You never know what they might do. Um, if we can hit him. There we go. Dead. So, now we do need some more blocks. Oh, wait. Let's push him. Okay. Once again, he's spinning to look at me to ask, why is this happening to me? Have I done something wrong? And, no, you haven't, Steve. Well, you have done something wrong. You were in the wrong place. And now you're coming to the right place, which is the castle where we live. That castle is seriously looks so different from the beginning of the series, because if you remember from the beginning of, se of the series, it was a horrible mess of just blocks everywhere. Like, you couldn't even tell what if it was a castle or not. So, we we totally fixed that, though. So now you can tell it's a ca- Well, it I don't even think it's a castle anymore. Now it's more of just a flat-roofed box house, which is- I don't actually know which looked better, the old one or the new one, but I'm pretty sure it's the new one. Because at least this one has, like, a pattern, and let's... Okay, there we go. Oh, wow, we managed to lose four rails somehow. I don't know how that happened. Okay, so just gotta push him again. Okay, this bridge is... Uh, oh, and he's off the rails, okay. We could technically push him all the way back without using rails at all. But that would be a pretty bad idea. And then he might fall off the bridge, and we would lose him permanently. Well, we wouldn't really lose him, but if armor stands take fall damage, and he breaks when we try to drop him in our house, I'm going to be really, really annoyed. Because that means this whole episode was pointless. So, we're so close, we're so close to our house. He just has to go where that other armor stand is. He'll, he'll take the place of the other armor stand, and... So let's push him. Okay, he's back on the rails. And let's just see. Let's go into third person so we can see how close it is. Okay. So, so near. And also night... Oh, goodness. That, that's not good. Nighttime is not helping this situation at all. Yeah. Wow, we've managed to almost lose half of the rails that we've had this time. We've, we only have nine. We started with 16. And... That means that we have to keep doing more trips. Let's jump over him. There we go. That is a strategy we can use now because we have jump boost. We can literally just jump over him. Uh, there we go. End of the rails. Let's break them. And we're going to have to give him some new armor too. And we can actually take that Steve head for our own. And I think that might be our first Steve head. Wow. Seven rails. Don't ask me how we're even losing rails. This Okay, eight rails. That's a little better. How do we just lose half of the rails, and I only even saw two of them ever go missing. That doesn't even make any sense. Like, how does that even work? 
How do we lose more rails than we... I, I just don't get it. Oh, no, do not fall off, Steve. Do not fall off here. You are too close to mess up. And there goes another rail. Every time we do it, we're losing a rail, so... I hate that spinning thing. I, I forget about it every time I do it, and then I mention it, and then I forget about it again. I don't know what, what is wrong with me. Okay, there we go. He is basically at, at our castle now. He is over it. And let's just jump over here, and then let's do this. And now he's successfully on our base. We have gotten him all the way from over there to over here by using minecarts and magic. And now we'll place a rail down there. There we go. Okay, good. And then we'll, we'll place rails here. And we just kind of have to get him over... Okay, now is the part where we actually find out what we're going, where we're putting it, because here's this armor stand, which we're going to break, because we don't need it anymore. And so let's just break the block right above us. There we go. That is the block that he's going to need to go into. And when we drop him in there, we also have to make sure he's facing the right way, which is going to be pretty tricky, but we can do it, I think. I think. So, here's our rails. Six rails, seven rails. We don't, we've only ended with seven rails when we started with 16. I don't even know how that happens. I've only seen about four of them even fall, so... Ugh, I just don't get it. It's like losing socks in the washing machine. It's like, how do they get lost? Who knows? They, they just are. Uh, let's see. Here we are. So, we're, we're literally right there. If we mess something up now, uh, what ha Oh my goodness. That is a speedy Steve right there. So now I think we're just gonna push him like this. And now we gotta- Okay, this is- this is the difficult part, because we need blocks to place all around him to make sure he gets out in the right place. So let's just push him down here. And let's face him the right- No. Dude, get in the hole. Get in the hole. You know what? We're gonna make a bigger hole. There we go. And hopefully he'll fit in this one. Dude, is it that hard? There, okay, he's in the house. And now we're going to break the rails on our roof because these are ugly. And now let's get in there and let's arrange Steve. So let's see, we're going to have to put him right here. Good. And we'll need to face him the right way. So I think that's good. And now we'll just slowly push him. Nope, he's turning, he's turning. Oh, no, now he's turning the other way. Okay, turn. Is it that hard, Steve? Just, just face the right way, please. Just, just, no. No, seriously. Steve? Steve? Please? Steve! Face the right way. And, okay, let's find blocks in one of these chests. And now we have to completely surround him with blocks, or else he will get out in the wrong position. So, I think we still have to turn him a little. Is that good? I think this is good. So now let's just slowly push him without turning him whatsoever. Except maybe this way a little bit. This way. You know what? That That's fine. That is fine with me. So now we will get pistons, which we will need. Pistons. Where would pistons be? Ores and minerals. We have two iron. We need redstone. We need wood, um, which is this chest, uh, wood, and we need cobblestone, which we have. So now let's go craft a piston, which is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, there we go, and then iron, and then redstone. There we go, here's our piston, and now we need a lever, which is easy enough to craft, like that, and then we will put the piston here. And now we need to push it into him. Okay, so I'm going to disable the autosave just in case this turns him in any way. Okay, it didn't turn him. Good. Now he is in the perfect position. And we just need to, um, not, not a chest. We need to get the cobblestone and surround him 100%. So let's break the item frame on this side and on this side. There we go. And now let's just surround him like this. We are literally so close to our entire goal this episode. Okay, that, and now I think we're good. We just have to break this block. 
There we go. And now, once again, he's in the perfect position. So let's get out our sword and... Uh, uh. What? Steve. 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 What? What did you do? What did you do? Oh, that's a little too far. I'm gonna reload the world, guys, and try to do that again. Let's try this again. I've reloaded the world, and I've placed blocks literally everywhere that he could possibly teleport, except in the glass. So let's try this again. Three, two, one, break. Oh, I think it worked. I think he's in the right position. Yes, 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 yes. We got him all the way from out there in wherever he was, the, the planes by the moon portal, all the way successfully back to our base, and now we have an armor stand with arms. That was literally the whole goal of today's episode. Bring the armor stand with arms back to our base. Probably the most pointless episode ever, if I'm gonna be honest. But let's give him this armor that is good. And also let's drop off some stuff in this chest because it's annoying to not be able to quick move. So now let's put this armor. Uh, where's the... Okay, here's Gastro Fortitudes. Uh, boom. And what is this? A player's name? What in the world? Well, I'll put that here. And then we'll need these leggings. And we'll need uh, this chest plate. Boom. Boom. And now we just need the sword. So what sword? I think we might have an, a backup Sword of the Guardian in here. Uh, here it is. And now let's plop this here. Move out of the way, Skelly. You don't want to get hit by this. Boom. There we go. That was literally the whole goal of today's episode, guys. Just get this armor stand here and make it look amazing. If only we could get our own head, that would be cool. But now we have an armor stand with arms in our base that we can use. That's probably the best thing. <laughs> the only thing we've done this episode, literally. And let's put Steve on there. Okay, I seriously like the Steve head much more than um, just putting the helmet. But yeah, guys, that is the end of this episode. We we accomplished our one and only goal, which is get, get this um, armor stand with arms from the planes all the way back to our base. So tell me in the comments what I should do next episode. But for now, I do want to tell you all, thanks for watching, and I will see you later.